Hi there, okay, so we've got a two machine Econet set up here and what we're going to do now is go through the procedure for initializing the compact flash card for use with the level 3 file server. So first off on this machine we've got the coprocessor turned off. The first thing we're going to do is ADFS and star mount 4 which is the GoTech. We have this image on here. We're going to go HD init. And we're going to run that. So we need to press tab to change it to 8 width, 8 bits width, investigate, and it's a 1 gig card, so 500 meg is half. So we want to format that. No HDFS, yes to confirm. We now do that. We have the drive initialized. So now we're going to turn on the CoPro 230,0 and we have the tube on. We're going to mount 4 again and we are now going to go start the AR Nouveau. And we're going to use this version of WFS init. There are several versions floating around on the net and there's a few versions on here but this is the one that I found works with one little modification which is line 50 30. This is where it does the measurement for counting the sectors of the drive. So we see it's counting up to 1 FF, FFF which is 512 megabytes. There's no way back in the day we'd have seen anything like 512 meg. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that down to 16 meg by copying that and changing that last line to 008 000 and we then run that. Disk initializer drive number zero. Disk name L3FS. L3FS. And scanned the drive. Next drive we don't need. So now it's doing its thing. Password file, yes, I'm just going to put my name on there as one. Copy master directory is no. So let's now initialize the disk. So reset again, go back to mount four, and now we're going to run the file server at this 3 092. Number of drive one, command serve, stations five. And it's started. So now we've got on this machine, it's saying, Who are you? I am a person who can type my name properly. Mark, and that's my directory. So if I just write a little program, print that, save xxx, and that's saved it. Let's save it again as yyy, and now we've got a couple of files loaded on there, and that's showing up on the file server. So that is the procedure for setting it up. You then just copy your files on how you want and go from there. Right, there we go. Thanks for watching.